Yo, what's up guys? It's Rebellious Gooser here, and today we're going to be seeing how well the Iron Rangers do in the snow in the good old hills of Kentucky. So, as I did in the last video, I told you that these things didn't have the thickest tread, which they don't, but I figured, you know, I didn't give the best description in the video of how well or not well they done in the snow. We've got ourselves some pretty slick snow here, so I figured this would be a good video to show you guys exactly firsthand uh, how these uh, work in the snow. So I am slipping a little bit here. It's normal. My, all my boots do that because I don't have any actual winter boots because Kentucky doesn't always have winter, you know? I mean, obviously the season doesn't skip, but uh, it's not very often that we get snow. But with these ice storms like I was talking about in the other video, you know, so, you know, there's some ice over here because we get a lot of water run down uh, on my property. It's not slipping any right here right now. We've got a little tiny hill I could walk up here. I'm not going to walk up the steepest part of the hill because I don't feel like there's many people out there that's going to be trying to do that in these boots anyways. I'm just showing you for little casual strolls through the woods here how they do I also do a little clip here of me walking down the hill so we're going up here it's not very steep and they're doing pretty well so far I just figured you know I was trying to come up with another idea for an Iron Ranger video because I told you guys I'd be doing two this week figured you know what let's try to get it all in one go I am having trouble here starting to slip a lot I just slipped again but once again I don't feel like most people are going to be doing this in Iron Rangers but just in case oh crap see just slipped again I almost fell that time but figured just in case you guys wanted to see this would be a good way to show you. Now we're going to try to go down here. A little bit worried I might actually fall this time. Because we're going downhill. And these, uh, these treads, I mean, they're good for almost any weather condition besides this. Walking down on a slick, snowy hill. I'm going to try to kind of walk at an angle here because... Don't exactly want to try to fall in this video. <laughs> but I'm also working on a uh, gaming video today, so if you guys are into that, I'll probably have that uploaded by tomorrow. I just bought a capture card actually, and uh, I've been trying to work with that and learn how to use that because I've, I've not had any uh, real experience with Chromebooks and stuff like that besides in school, but everything was already formatted to the point where we didn't have to hardly do anything, so. But, that's besides the point. As far as these Iron Rangers go, once again, I don't know if any of y'all have watched any of my other Iron Ranger videos. I uh, highly suggest you do if you haven't. I've done a one month review, I've done a cleaning video, and uh, i also done a six week review yesterday. So, you guys should have some variety. Just go to playlists if you having trouble getting between my gaming videos and my boot videos. Um, just go to playlists and get on the style slash greaser playlist. And there's all of my videos on my Iron Rangers. I like doing these. I like doing the gaming videos too. But these typically get more views and likes. So, I figured I'd do some of these. Uh, but... If you guys have any other ideas for Iron Rangers or anything that you guys want to see in this category here, uh, let me know because I'm starting to run out a little uh, when it comes to ideas for these things besides maybe an after, uh, well, little things like this and maybe after winter or how they do in mud and rain and stuff like that. But, you know, I'm just trying to actually show you guys in real time 
you know, upload every few days or something like that. So that way you guys really understand what you are investing your money into when you pay $300 for a pair of boots. In my opinion, you know, them being American made and the look of them and everything and the, uh, what you actually get with them, I'd say it's worth it. And if you want to know what the boot is built like or anything like that, I would suggest going to my one month review or my six weeks review. On the cleaning video, I didn't really talk about much about the boot besides my six week and my one month videos. Those are the ones that you're going to be wanting to look at if you're wanting to see like what they're made out of or um, how many layers of leather on each part of the boot. But I'll try to go ahead and knock off some snow here. Seems like I'm just getting more on at that point. But as you guys can see, this is what they look like afterwards. These are in the amber harness leather, so uh, I guess I'll have to put some waterproof on them because it looks like it's seeping through the leather and making it a little bit darker, but I'm not feeling any wetness on my feet. So, I mean, they're definitely water, water resistant. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Give me a like and a subscription. It helps out the channel a lot, and I want to see my channel grow, so... I'd really appreciate it. Thank you for watching.